I will show you how to make a magic circle. Hold your yarn. Then wrap yarn around your middle finger. Press and hold the interlaced place. Grab your hook and thread it through the yarn. Then come back. Chain one to secure and as the beginning of the round one. This is a magic circle. Now I will insert six single crochets into the magic circle for round one. The number in brackets at the end of every round means a total number of stitches in the round. Asterisk N means that you should repeat the combination of stitches N times. Now start our round one. Insert your hook into the magic circle. Grab your yarn and come back. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. This is one single crochet. You may put a stitch marker in the first stitch of round one. Keep doing single crochets. Once you have six, take out the hook and pull the magic circle tight. Now that the six single crochets of round one have been completed, there are two ways to start your round two. One way is to start round two directly from the first stitch of round one. The second way is to insert a slip stitch in the first stitch to close round one. And then chain one starts round two. I like to make a slip stitch at the end of my round. Those V's you see are your stitches which you will be working in. Take out the stitch marker. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Grab your yarn and come back. Then pull through the loop on your hook. This is a slip stitch. Then chain one for the beginning of round two. I'm going to increase for the round two. Place two single crochets into the same stitch. Place two single crochets in the same stitch place of the slip stitch. Put a stitch marker in the first ST of round two. Insert another single crochet in the same stitch. Now we have an increase. Then insert two single crochets into the next stitch. Single crochet twice into each of the 6 stitches equals 12 total. At the end you'll have 12 stitches in total. Now the round 2 has been completed. You will find that there are still 2 stitches left and we don't need to crochet them. These two stitches are the slip stitch and one chain we just hooked before round two. Just start in the first stitch of round two.
Now, slip stitch closed at the end of this round. Insert your hook into the first stitch of round 2. Then chain 1 for the round 3. Now we can start our round 3. I'm going to make 1 single crochet and 1 increase, 2 single crochets into 1 stitch. 1 single crochet in the stitch place of the slip stitch, the first stitch of the round 2. Then increase, place 2 single crochets in the next stitch. Repeat this process, 1 single crochet and 1 increase. At the end you will have 18 stitches. It is important to count the correct number of stitches when you have completed your round. Now, slip stitch closed at the end of this round. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Then chain one. Now we can start our round four. For the fourth round you want to make two single crochets and one increase. One single crochet in the stitch place of the slip stitch. Then single crochet into next stitch. Then increase, place two single crochets in the next stitch. Repeat this process, 2 single crochets and 1 increase for round 4. At the end you will have 24 stitches. Don't forget to count your stitches. Now, slip stitch closed at the end of this round. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Then chain 1 for the round 5. For the round 5, single crochet into each stitch equals so 24 in total. Usually, every round starts with the first stitch. Single crochet into each stitch. Now 24 single crochets for round 5 have been completed. Slip stitch and chain 1. This is the right side. The wrong side has a tail. Now we can start our round 6. For the 6th round you want to make 2 single crochets and 1 decrease, 2 stitches together. Single crochet in the first two stitches. One single crochet in the stitch place of the slip stitch. Then we make a decrease using two stitches. There are two methods for decrease. Method 1, you are only going to use the front loop of two stitches.
Grab your yarn and come back. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That is one decrease stitch. Repeat this process, two single crochets and one decrease. Now I'll show you the second method of decrease. Insert your hook into the first stitch, passing through two loops. Grab your yarn and come back. But don't loop over. Insert again into second stitch. Grab your yarn and come back. Now there are three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook. That is one decrease stitch of method two. Repeat this process, two single crochets and one decrease. Now continue to complete round 6, 2 single crochets, and 1 decrease. At the end you will have 18 stitches. Slip stitch and chain 1. Now you should know how to crochet in a magic circle. Bye!